Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. A pleasant good day, ECHL fans. It's going to be a quick video on Will Grabbers. I don't want on all the award guys this far and skipped over him just because of scheduling and forgot to get back to it. But he, of course, won the Warrior Hockey ECHL MVP and very deservingly so. Even though his Fort Wayne Comets were not successful in the postseason, he still had four points in seven games on two goals and two apples. And after starting his career with the South Carolina Stingrays, uh, and only getting one point in 11 games last season. He now, in 59 games, in really his rookie season, obviously, because it was his first full season for the Fort Wayne Comets, goes ballistic and scores 83 points, was one of the better two-way players in the game, um, and was able to just play as a rookie a very tight game and very composed game on both ends, and is an assist king. Obviously, he scored the 26 goals, but almost having 60 assists, he's going to be able to make those saucer passes over your blades on the defense to be able to get to his teammates, and that's what makes him so effective. That's really his primary thing, too. He's a goal scorer, obviously, too, getting the 26, but his primary thing is being a great elite-level passer, and then the goal scoring comes second, but that's also at an almost, if not elite level, almost at that, at the ECHL level, at that elite level. So, Grabber obviously got off to a fantastic start for his career. One of the most exciting Huey guys at a young age, the same age as me, was born in 96, um, to watch in the game. Unfortunately for him, his team did not have a successful run in the postseason. If you want to go back and watch that series recap video, uh, feel free to do that. And also, please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget to keep us growing to our goal of 250 or more by the start of June. But to round out this video, hats off to Will Grabber on the fantastic season. It seems like he's going to be a key cog in the ECHL for a while until he gets recognized, which might be soon enough if he has a back-to-back -back absolutely bombastic season like this year. It might be soon enough that he gets recognized by the AHL, but for now, I would think Fort Wayne was to keep him around and continue to build around the star they have in first year um, full season pro, Will Grabber, who also was one of the guys that did play not as well as he would have hoped, I think, as a whole on both ends, but played a solid overall series in the first round and was able to produce four points in the seven games for the Fort Wayne Comets um, in the postseason. But unfortunately, his team, again, for him, was not able to prevail, and the MVP got knocked out in the first round. But overall, absolute stud in the league, great passer, a guy that obviously is a very good scorer as well. So he's going to continue to try to build on this season and potentially be in the MVP race next season as well. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and please continue to subscribe.